Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show how to detect face and eye with the help of hair casket file. Uh, for that, uh, you need two types of hair casket file. The first one is eye to detect eye in a video and the second one is um, face. Uh, for that, you need this hair casket file. So, now coming to the program. First, you need this library CV to computer vision library to perform image browsing operation. And Cape.cv2.video capture. This line is used to access whether you are using webcam or USB cam. If you are using webcam, means you have to give zero here or else uh, give one. If you are using USB cam, give one here. Okay. Then I am going to set width and height for the video frames. Then I am going to access that uh, hair casket file from my system. For that, I am using this these two lines. So this line is used to detect the uh, face hair casket file from my system and this one is used to access the i hair casket file from my system okay so coming to this line frame is equal to cape dot read so what it will do means it will read the videos by frame by frame we all know that video consists of multiple frames right so it will re read the video by frame by frame so if it's read uh, any frames means here it will become true so here it will become true means the loop will run infinite time okay for that i'm using while loop okay so here gray is equal to cv2 dot uh, cvt color which means convert color so i'm going to convert all the rgb frame to gray frame okay and the next line phase is equal to phase cascade dot detect multi scale so without this line you can't uh, detect a face and uh, eye in a frame or video okay for that i'm using this line so this one print length phases so if it detects any phases or i means it will print one or else it will print zero okay so what is the use of this line is uh, if it detects if it detects any phase or i in a particular frame it will draw one rectangular box in the frame okay so if it detects phases means it will draw one rectangular box inside the face okay so these two lines same purpose uh, these two lines are used to draw a rectangular box when the eye is directed okay so inside it is it, it, it is all a size okay to you can change this if you want any color or any size means you can change this value okay so now i'm going to show each and every frame okay for that i'm using cv2 dot im show okay so the next two line is used to if I am pressing Q means the whole process will be quitted. Okay, for that I am using these two lines. Then last two lines is used for as usual purpose. Uh, after the, all the process, the camera should be closed and the Python program should be closed. For that, I am using these two lines. Okay, now I am going to run this program. See, face and eye are detected. So if it detects face and eye, it will print one, or else it will print 0 ok now I am going to press the key Q so it will quit see ok thanks for watching